ever since Aries stepped foot into the music industry, he has been hated and underrated by most rappers. From Caspanyo Vest, Words, Pretty Ugly, Mesh Beats and Shane Eagle, Aries has had a beef with probably any SA rapper you can think of. Even though he has been an independent artist ever since he left the Ambitious Entertainment record label in 2016, he is still notoriously known for having one of the most loyal, ride or die, cut like fan bases in South African hip hop. Which is why having a beef with him is literally one of the biggest career killing mistakes any rapper can ever commit. Starting with the rapper Kitini, who thought it was a good idea to diss Aries in order to bring attention to his own music, but unfortunately, the opposite happened. Back in 2015, when Aries was first signed to Ambitious Entertainment, the record label intentionally put him against the rapper Nasty C, who was also rising in popularity at the time, in hopes that the beef would stay up controversy and eventually launch Aries' career to success as fast as possible. Although the strategy worked well to build a strong and impactful foundation for his career, just two years later, in February of 2017, Aries would put out a tweet that read, To whom it may concern, I would like to say I'm no longer part of Ambitious Entertainment as of now moving forward, which was followed by Ambitious Entertainment signing a new rapper, Kitini, in May of 2017, just three months after Aries left the label, prompting Aries to go on an interview show called Behind the Story and say this. Spoke about your track uh, for Nasty C that you kind of were coerced into making. Do you feel like Kitini was coerced into doing the same thing? Exactly the same thing. So the, the same bullet like, came to... <laughs> yeah, that's why I, feel, I personally feel like this is not Kitini versus Aries. Mm. This is the record label owner versus Aries. After that, Ambitious would try to rinse and repeat their unprofessional antics yet again by putting Kitini against Aries in an attempt to build an audience around his music. With the most memorable this song being the song called New School Bully, which has lyrics aimed at Aries such as Tell him I'm the new school bully, I could never tie with Reese like the dude screw cookie, or baby boy, baby boy, if you ain't shook, you should be, cause I could turn this gift to a curse. I'm not saying I'm the best, but I'm the fairest from the worst. And when Kitini was asked on an interview about the song, Song, this was his response. I don't have beef with Aries right now at all. Um, it's just I'm a rapper, you know what I mean? And when I dropped that record, I dropped it as a rapper. I was doing what rappers do because, you know, as much as we love to ignore it, there's rules to this shit. You know what I mean? There's rules to it. If someone steps up and tries to challenge your your skill, I come I come from a, a time where that that don't fly, you know. You gotta stand up and you know kinda stick up for yourself. And that's exactly what I did with movie. And once we did that, other kids were like, ah, we don't wanna play anymore. And that was that was it. I was just doing what, you know, I felt was my right to do and just However, after going through all the fuss of recording and releasing the song, the whole promotion strategy completely backfired as Aries kept silent and never responded to any of the diss tracks at all. As of today, the song is sitting at well over 100,000 views but with comments such as, It's funny how everybody sleeps differently, I sleep on my side, my girl sleeps on her stomach, and the rest of the world sleeps on Kitsini. Aries gave you voicemail till today. Aries is meanwhile in Hanichu is better. Haha, <laughs> this boy is whack. It's so hard to press play when you see Tini, but with Reese, you just go for it. Ambitious, you will never replace Reese. Kid Tini sucks, they think they can replace Reese, nah boy, think twice. And even though Ambitious Entertainment put out a tweet in 2020 trying to build hype and excitement over Kid Tini's new album titled The Second Coming, the damage to his career and reputation had already been done, with majority of the tracks on his new album barely even getting 10,000 views. While Kid Tini's career was basically screwed over by poor and unprofessional marketing skills, the beef between Aries and Kespanyo Vest was started by something as small as a Twitter post. Back in 2018, Aries released a list of classic records that most people still listen to till today. And considering the fact that he was excessively smoking marijuana more than the average person per day, most of the songs he released that year alone were either about smoking weed from the beginning till the end of the song, or had little mentions of smoking weed within the song. While the majority of his fans did not have a problem with what he was rapping about in his music, Kespanyo Vest on the other hand did not like that rappers were promoting and living that lifestyle. Going on Twitter and saying, drugs are bad, with a laughing emoji. I wouldn't be able to build family tree the way that I did if I was high all the time. I look at my friends who smoke weed and how it treats them and I don't wanna be that guy. Not my vibe. It makes people lazy, talented guys but take
take forever to finish the job. I smoked weed when I was young and impressionable, just fell into peer pressure from friends, I got nothing from it and I had a bad experience. I'm glad I quit early, I don't like weed, I don't like drugs, a lot of people get angry when I say that but it is what it is. To which Aries responded to with big cap on Twitter before going on the now iconic 2018 BET cipher and proceeded to diss Caspanyo Vest for incorporating elements of the Guaito genre into most of his hip hop records. Get hate but the hate get no reaction, on top of that right now hip hop is Guaito put in close brackets. Even though most people supported Aries throughout this whole situation, some people were defending Caspa by saying this. Somebody caught feelings with the laughing emoji. They always catch feelings whenever Caspa talks about weed and drugs. One of them is that lesbian called Aries. He can't even sell 20 copies of his music. Yes, Aries would kill Caspanyo Vest with music but his career would still be the same after that. Fast forward to 2023, Aries has yet again allegedly dissed Caspanyo Vest on his new album called Paradise 2 The Big Hearted Bad Guy but Caspanyo Vest hasn't responded yet. Which couldn't be said for the beef between Aries and Shane Eagle that started over a social media DM and was later escalated by something as small as a painting. Shane Eagle and Aries started their music careers around the same time in 2015. Fast forward to 2020, Shane Eagle would DM Aries on Twitter asking for a feature, but Aries never responded, which resulted in Shane Eagle unfollowing Aries on all social media platforms and dissing him and his girlfriend on a song called The Green Freestyle. Even though Aries never responded, responded to the diss track one year later in 2021 when he was preparing to release his mixtape called Today's Tragedy Tomorrow's Memory. His girlfriend Raquel Jones posted a video of herself on Instagram painting the art of the album cover, prompting a response from Shane Eagle's girlfriend who is also a painter to post a picture of herself on Instagram spray painting a couch with the caption, copy all you want, you still couldn't be me. After that Aries and Shane Eagle went back and forth hitting each other with subliminal disses on each of the their songs and ended up with Aries posting on Twitter and saying, you cockroaches need to stop talking crazy about my girlfriend, it's disgusting, leave my girl alone, keep talking like that and I'ma teach you how to rap. While the Shane Eagle and Aries feud lasted for a short while, the same cannot be said between Aries and Pretty Ugly. The quibble between them started when Aries dropped a song called Hibachi, where in the beginning of the song he rapped, my shit don't feel the same I'm gaining body weight cause I was on a beef diet turning rapper to Hibachi steak, to which Pretty Ugly responded to after releasing his album titled Soil on the song Handful of Dust where he said, rappers in a cocky place I'm not the one to turn into Hibachi steak and followed by a freestyle called The April 2nd Freestyle where he seemed to be shooting shots at Shane Eagle, Nasty C and Aries with lyrics like, the flies with the bars are put an eagle in a birdcage, see I'm nasty no cap let's all rap, you can't have bad hair if you're making tall racks, I'm the greatest rapper that's an Aries, you nuts to go against me, you need a bigger pair of these. And when asked on an interview by Scoop Makatini, this is what he had to say. So on Handful of Dust, I say, you know, because Reese, you know, I'll say Reese because, you know, he's, uh, the slams are, are in my mentions like a lot, you know. Ooh. But shout out to the slams, it's so dope to see someone, you know, people people getting that much support. And that's, this is yeah. all love to these dudes. Yeah. Dudes like Reese love, you know. Yeah. We love what they're doing. Um, so... You know, so he's he's got a song called Hibachi, and on Hibachi he's like, yo, I I think I'm gaining body weight. Yeah, I'm on a beef diet, turning rappers to Hibachi, Hibachi state. state. Sure. You know? So I was like, okay, cool. Um, you probably is turning rappers into Hibachi state. Mm. I'm not one of them. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Sure. So, so my response, even to that, it's not even like a response. It's mm. like, yo, rappers in a cocky place. I'm not the one who's turned into Hibachi steak. Lost his taste. Not your favorite rapper. Probably dropping plates. Sure. You know, so it's like obviously people. Are, oh, you just reason like it's actually like not a diss. It's, it's just actually saying, just clearing my name. Yeah, I'm just, out I'm of just the... actually just like yo, I'm clearing my name from yeah. that. Because it could have been thing, easily you know? said that oh, Reese is diss dissing every rapper in the game, and For that sure. wasn't said. Exactly. People just saw that as like no, he's but he's exactly. Game. Game. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's, that's it's that's like a, by, that. it's a dope yeah. answer by the way. Sure. Furthermore, Aries responded to him on a song called Tough Luck where he said, Try somebody else, don't put your stress on me. Everybody else, put respect on me. And if he down bad, nigga, tough luck. He throwing that up on my name cause he washed up. Resulting to Pretty Ugly also responding back with a snippet of a freestyle that he posted on Instagram called Who Wants Smoke? But the song was never officially released on streaming platforms. Moreover, Aries and his big brother Jay Jody 
eventually put out their last response composed in the song Ridiculous where J Jody rapped You get excited too much for the cam like you will the first time he pulled up to Bel Air which is a reference to when Pretty Ugly was seemingly excited and kept a smile on his face throughout his Instagram live talk with Brad Barish who is the CEO of companies like Bel Air, Bumbu Ram, McQueen and the Violet Fog and Villian Wine leaving a lot of people till this day believing that if Pretty Ugly simply held his tongue and never sent the first shot towards a reason in the first place then they would probably be working on songs together by now but if there's one person who never learned how to stay quiet and keep his criticism to himself it would definitely be Nota. Nota is currently known as the most annoying critic in the South African music industry. He has given controversial criticism to rappers like MT, Kespanyo Vest, Big Zulu, Shane Eagle, Zuchi Coke Dope, Flame, Blackie, Lucas Raps and basically any other rapper in SA hip hop. An example of that can be seen back in 2020 when he tweeted, I'll congratulate myself for getting Nasty C to start rapping in Zulu. I may have been extreme in my methods but at least there's progress being made, leading Nasty C to respond in the most hilarious way possible. All this nigga worried about another man's play. You a waste of air and space, go to something positive and inspire somebody for once. All SA rappers, if this nigga say something about your music or career again, send him this and tell him to roll his ass back to 2014. LMA Ayo, a junkie, stay off Twitter. What effing nonsense is this? Who let you think you are that important? And when Nota went on to criticize Aries of rapping about places he has never been, Aries did not hesitate to expose his hypocrisy. But first, Nota tweeted, Aries fans have him running in a sport. He needs to stop being comfortable watching movies and maybe study Africana so he can grow. His audience will outgrow him soon if he keeps rapping to impress brats who haven't seen the world. Rapping about Nairobi and he's never been. Followed by a reply from A. Reese saying, We got to see each other in person about 3 months ago when I came to do the part with the OG. You ain't say nothing but Reese, you are doing well for yourself, I'm proud of you, you look good, let me put you on game on how it works overseas and all that. You didn't say ish about what bothers you about how I rap or let alone the garbage about my big brother. DJ Spoo, am I lying? Nigga Nota, you was a B word. Causing Nota to clap back with a video saying the following. The mere fact that you're responding the way you are means you know what I'm saying is true. You understand? When DJ Smooth came to interview you, I was like, dope, okay? And what did I say to you? I said, yo, you need to stop hanging around with these cats out here and go international. And that's what I expect of you. And when you do anything less than I expect, young boy, I don't like that. You're letting me down, you understand? I don't vouch for you, for you to disappoint me and be stuck there, out there, suffering, carrying your brother's career along. No, I want you to excel. I demand better of you and I expect better of you and you let me down. And then you come into my comments replying and then you disgust me. Because it's like, why? Fast forward to the 21st of October when Aries released his album Paradise 2 that charted with 19 songs on the South African Spotify daily charts and accumulated more than 1 million streams on the very day it was released. Nota reacted with, that's the spirit, decent album, fantastic support, remarkable debut, keep it up. The best thing Aries fans can do to shut me up is to run up those streams all week so they can at least brag about the numbers. Maybe it was my plan all along to piss y'all all enough to try and outdo Nasty C's numbers. With all the beefs that Aries has had, it's pretty evident that he always comes up at the top. And as much as a lot of figures within the South African music industry like to stay up controversy with him whenever he's minding his own business, the best thing that he does is to ignore them and keep it pushing. But when you provoke him enough, he will respond and publicly embarrass you.